So I did my MPH in London, at the London School of Tropical Medicine. And we had uh, epidemiology there. So I really liked epidemiology, but I didn't start to work immediately in epidemiology. I continued to work with NGOs in different countries. And, um, and then it, it was again the animal medicine that brought me to epidemiology because I was working in, in Haiti and there was an outbreak of uh, swine fever which is a disease that kills pigs and pigs are a quite important element of the uh, Haitian economy. The li all the families have a pig uh, and that's their bank. No? So when, when they need money they sell the pig to pay the, the school of the children for instance. Okay? So it was very, uh, a very serious problem this swine uh, epidemic in Haiti for the family incomes. So there were some uh, EIS officers from the state, so yeah, epidemiology, yeah. it's uh, epidemiology intelligence service, it's like the EPIET in, uh, in the states from CDC Atlanta, so they came to Dominican Republic to work in this outbreak and they told me about this uh, training, the EIS training, and I was really interested and then I contacted my colleagues in Spain to see if uh, Spain had contacts with, uh, if Spain was sending people for this training and they said yes but in addition there's a new program in Europe called EPIAT where you are trained in Europe and not in the States and they said well I would rather be trained in Europe than in the States and I did EPIAT, I came here and they got me, I, I stayed. <laughs>